appetizer, lunch, even dinner, charcuterie is all the rage still in dining these days. Now there's a new restaurant dedicated to all things charcuterie. Where is Sherman? He is live in Carmel to tell us all about it. Good morning. Hey, good morning. You know what, charcuterie, you think that, you go, what, what is charcuterie? Well, actually, charcuterie really is all about cured meats. Um, dates back to about, let's see, 15th century France, I believe, if I remember correctly. So we go back hundreds of years to this uh, way of gathering and, and eating. But these days, people are, like, discovering it as something new, at least on this side of the world, right? That's where we come in at 317 Charcuterie. It just opened, this is Emily, by the way, Emily Hauser. Uh, from Fort Wayne, Butler grad, mm -hmm. shout out. Yeah, hey. go dogs. <laughs> yeah, uh, 317 Charcuterie. Did you open in November last year? Yes. Was it, right? Uh, yeah, uh, November 19th, we opened the storefront. Uh, yep. So we're at City Center uh, in Carmel, mm -hmm. Range Line, City City Drive. Okay, give us the concept. I said it kind of much, right? Pretty yeah, much. so um, catering, kind of what you think of with charcuterie is, um, you know, the big tables and big boards and all of that. Um, which we definitely do and is a big staple for us but we're also offering the exciting thing is we're offering dine-in as well and we have beer and wine um, so it's really exciting different step for charcuterie um, to be able to do some of those pairings and be able to come in with friends and that's the key right mm -hmm. you can come in and just kind of dine and 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 you do I think you have four uh, for two, for small, medium, large, I think is yep. how they come if you're dining in. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned the big boards that you do, obviously for catering or whatever, or for events. But when it comes to the, the small thing, let's get to this one here first. And the idea behind this, we've been talking about, is that you just get to try mm -hmm. and kind of graze yeah. and kind of do different combinations of things, right? Yeah. So what do we have over here? Um, so as far as cheeses go, um, in the top, left I guess um, is an English cheddar so it's more of like an aged cheddar and then we have manchego down here and blueberry goat cheese which is a fan favorite um, oh, really? okay. yeah it's kind of it's almost like a dessert um, oh. and then there is brie down in the corner as well and then you do cured meats like is this pepperoni or what is that that's a calabrese see, so see I don't know but that's what that's the idea right you find yeah. out you seek and find yeah that okay. one's a little spicy. It so. is? Well, so am I. Oh, wait. I was supposed to, <laughs> I was supposed to use this, <laughs> wasn't I? Oh, no, whatever okay, you anyway. want to do. <laughs> uh, and then the big board here. We're going to get to this. So that yeah. one, um, again, for catering. So you would not have this to dine in, would you, or not? Oh, this is this is the largest dine-in board. That is a dining board? Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you can come in. I say, like, for a graze, about five to ten people can snack on this. Um, and you got lots of different um, things in here. So you have manchego again, brie, blueberry goat cheese. We put blueberry goat cheese on everything. <laughs> um, and Humboldt Fog, which is like one of the oldest cheeses in the U.S. It's really yummy, but a little bit funky. And um, Merlot Bella Ventano, which is one of my personal favorites. And we're um, talking about putting honey on just about yeah. everything. Yeah. You said honey, honey is underrated. Yes. By the way, 317 Charcuterie in Carmel is open every day except Monday, correct? Yes. All right. So we've got more coming up. I'm, I'm trying a little honey with that little meat thing that you mm -hmm. said it was. I don't remember. Calabrese. And then, okay. And then. <laughs> you want to That's good. A little sweet and savory. Uh -huh. Guess what? They have grilled cheese, right? Uh huh. We've got that coming Jimmy. up later as well.